Yes, yes. I think um, one sees what he or she wants to imagine to say. Uh, the plan is very much on course. The first thing, and David D has said this again and again, was the work to stabilize the economy. What does to stabilize the economy mean? It was unsustainable to continue to offer the subsidies, subsidies that we were doing. Mm -hmm. What we have done in terms of ensuring that we stabilize the price of food and possibly bring it down is a deliberate investment in production. That's why the cost of fertilizer has come down from 7,000 to about 3,500. We should be talking about why government start, stopped giving inputs to farmers in 2018 and now leading us to this food, uh, food insecurity or food instability. And therefore, for us to plug that potential that the, there will be, there'll be, there'll be less food than the demand is, is to boost the production. And the, 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 the subsidies, as is, has been de de demonstrated both in the fuel sector and in the food sector, had gone to benefit a few cartels here and there. Even the Auditor General was asking those questions about the 34 billion in food subsidy. Secondly, we have been praying for the rains. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, because we have predicted a food shortage, the government has decided to, to, to import edible oil, has decided to import maize, has decided to import fertil, uh, rice on, a, on, on almost a zero-rated uh, uh, duty. The reason is to ensure that we bridge that supply gap so that the Kenyans, the food prices do not go higher. That's why there are food imports, including sugar, that are coming into the country from Comesa and beyond Comesa for areas that have a, an adequate supply. But there's shortage of maize almost, almost globally, particularly white maize. So the, the plan is there. In terms of uh, bridging the dollar, the, dollar the, the, king, the, the shilling slide, I think, Professor, uh, there are certain things you, you eat better. You know, Chairman Mao said, no speech without research. Mm -hmm. At least, I see, these days, the least, the, the least the, you see me le less on TV because I try to learn. I am now in a new space of government. The, it, the dollar slide has been created by the demand on the dollar. So what has happened, uh, the, the fuel, fuel in Kenya constitutes almost 40 to 45 percent of our dollar usage monthly. Okay. So what we have done is to go to oil producing countries, uh, floated a tender to give, to, for them to give us the best prices they can and to give us a credit window. The credit window will, in the next uh, five, five to six months, starting April of, uh, of first of April, is such that it's going to ensure that we have adequate dollars for the next four to five to six months, almost three billion dollars in the market. That 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 will mean that there will be less demand on the dollar, and that it is going the the shilling will either stabilize, or in fact go down to we predict to 115 shillings, and making importation quite 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 uh, quite. Uh, uh, re more reasonable. The reason also you look at the last government it committed us into massive debt. It, it, stead, it, it, it went into, it, they committed us into a trillion shillings worth of road debt in, on, on the area of roads. Okay. So they, they ended up focusing on infrastructure. They totally forgot areas to do with agriculture. So therefore that's why we want to now bolster production. We want to ensure we produce a million, uh, one, one million tons of maize that to meet uh, Kenya's national demand. We want to ensure that there's it's, it's sufficient supply of, 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 of maize. There's sufficient supply of sugar and we are going we want to go back to being an agriculture producing country in fact the quick win the low-hanging fruit for this government is the turnaround that uh, and the promise that agriculture offers so to to them they, we have we have started the hustler fund maybe you, you might be contemptuous because you think you don't you, it is about your daily stock mm -hmm. professor he thinks that taking 500 there were people who were taking 500 shillings from Shylocks to buy stock in the morning and by the end of the day, they were returning almost 100%, I mean, 10% uh, back. Give me, I give you 500. 10% per day times, 3, 000, times 365 days is 3,650%. Nobody can, can be able to, 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 to live on that kind of, of uh, margins. So therefore, there are people there of late that have built their credit score. From the 1,000 they took to the 2,000, there are Kenyans who only, that's why Professor is, 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 is laughing, he doesn't realize that there are Kenyans who just need a thousand shillings a day to earn to eke a living and make four five hundred shillings to put dignity
community, in, the fa in their families. Those right. are the people that we worry about. So uh, to, to, to go around and say there's no plan is a, is, is means that you, you, you come to a talk show, you do not talk to the, the economic uh, uh, <laughs> authors of this, of this government, you do not look at the architecture of what the government is trying to do. We are fast tracking the special economics on in Mombasa. It was supposed to be complete by 2027. It has been brought by, uh, f f forward to, to 2024 so that we can, we can venture into manufacturing. We can venture into uh, value addition. Right. We are creating industrial zones in every county for the same, for the same reason, agro-processing value addition. So the plan is there.